The Princeton Engineering Anomalies Research Pair was a research program at Princeton University that studied parapsychology. Established in 1979 by then Dean of Engineering Robert G. Yarn, Pair closed in February 2007, being incorporated into the International Consciousness Research Laboratories (ICRL). The program was controversial. PEAR's primary purpose was to engage in parapsychological exercises on topics such as psychokinesis (PK) and remote viewing. The program had a strained relationship with Princeton and was considered an embarrassment to the university. PEAR's activities have been criticized for lack of scientific rigor, poor methodology, and misuse of statistics, and have been characterized as pseudoscience. Topic parapsychological experiments with random event generators Pair employed electronic random event generators regs to explore the ability of test subjects to use psychokinesis to influence the random output distribution of these devices to conform to their pre-recorded intentions to produce higher numbers, lower numbers, or nominal baselines. Most of these experiments utilized a microelectronic reg, but experiments were also conducted with a giant, wall-mounted pachinko-like machine with a cascade of bouncing balls. In 1986, associates of Pair published data collected over the course of seven years from a group of subjects attempting to influence random number generators across millions of trials. In all cases, the observed effects were very small between 1 and about 0.1%, and although the statistical significance of the results at the p, very little information is provided about the design of the experiment, the subjects, or the procedure adopted. Details are not given about the subjects, the times they were tested, or the precise conditions under which they were tested. Physicist Professor Milton Rothman has noted that Jan's experiments at Pair started from an idealistic assumption, ignored the laws of physics, and had no basis in reality. PEAR's results have been criticized for deficient reproducibility. In one instance two German organizations failed to reproduce PEAR's results, while Pair similarly failed to reproduce their own results. An attempt by York University's Stan Jeffers also failed to replicate PEAR's results. <laughs> 